All right, everyone, we're back from break, and we had stumbled upon this Gilder, Gilder Green, Green Gloom, Gilder Green, Glamour Gloom de Gla Cave, where we're looking for something to do with that Gilder Green tree mission, quest line stuff. I don't know. We're in here, we're gonna blow shit up and chop things up, like we always do in Skyrim. It's the point of the game is wanton violence, mass murders, and uh, the eradication of several kinds of civilizations and cultures. Right? Isn't that the point? Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary as I have? Truly remarkable. Well, that's not what I'm here for. It's kind of nice, though. Look. Look at this. Wow. Look at the tree and everything. Wow, it's crazy. Amazing Asta. that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate. The mystery of Talara. Oh, Talara, Lara, la 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 la. Okay. Um. Let's see. Whatever tried tactical soap. A soap made for real alpha males has pheromones that make your lady happy. That sounds weird. Why do you need pheromones in your soap? You already have a lady, right? Who already is, is, is romantically attached to you. Why do you need to use pheromones? Shouldn't there already be pheromones? I don't know. I'm probably overthinking this. What is this? How do, I, how do I get up here? Ah! I need to get to this tree, but how do I get up there? Uh. Huh. The tree's blocking the path. Don't let me jump over it. How do I get up here? Uh, what's the quest, by the way? I'm not paying attention. Liber no. Retrieve Elder Gleam Sap. How would I get Elder Gleam Sap from this tree? <clears throat> they won't let me get up there. <clears throat> I don't know. See, it's an, basically it's an invisible wall. I don't get it. Praise Kinareth for allowing such beauty. We gotta talk to them? Well, let's see here. What is this place? You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinareth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? That tree is that the Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Yeah, there you go. I can't either. Why not? As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for. More hmm. out of fear than respect. Okay. You mean the Nettlebane? The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. So, I had no idea Nettlebane was a weapon. I thought it was, uh, yeah, look. <clears throat> I really didn't know it was a weapon. I thought that it was, um, like an ingredient or something. <laughs> well, that worked. Almost too easy. Alright, I got it. Got the sap. What's going on? We're being attacked by a Spriggan matron. The headman's cleaver. Oh! Hello, Cheerio Eater. How are you? Ha <laughs> 
to just spin. Cool. Oh. Astronaut is saying apparently you do keep your membership if you're banned. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know anything about it. What's funny is I got a couple emails uh, from people who want to be unbanned. I didn't have a chance to review it because a lot of those emails keep hitting my um, my spam folder now. And I don't know why. Some of them have a link and some don't. And they're still hitting my spam folder. So I guess I got to start checking my spam folder more often. A creep cluster. Okay. What is shadow banning? Well, see, the thing is, pretty much on YouTube, every ban is a shadow ban. What I mean by that is, over on Twitch, if you were banned during a stream, it would outright tell you, you know, you have been banned or whatever. So there would be no confusion or anything. You just know you're banned. Um, on, on YouTube, when you get banned, a lot of the times there's no message, there's no notice. You're just banned. You don't even know it. So you can still stay on the stream. You're still technically in the chat. But... You just can't talk. You go to talk and nothing happens. <laughs> Basically, banning is not really banning. All it is is making your comments invisible. So no one can see or respond to anything you say. Hmm. Out of the way, asshole. Well, they stopped doing their little dances. They went to sleep. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I've got the sap. Wonderful. I use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Okay. Is that it? Is that literally it? That's it. And then she'll train you in restoration if you want. And that's it, huh? Grace of Kinareth be with you. I guess that was the mission. You, there's really not much of a reward at all, huh? That was pretty lame. All right, so I was told we go to Erinder, Windspeak in Dawnstar, we'll have a quest. All right, but I, I think I want to keep doing the Stormcloaks for now. But what I would say is to the person who tipped me an hour ago and said, speak to Erinder in the Windspeak in Dawnstar for a new quest. Once, you know, we wrap up with the Skyrim Liberation quest line and we're looking for other missions, maybe then we'll do it. But let's, uh, let's adhere to our, our agenda for today and keep doing the Stormcloak stuff. Where the hell is it? Here it is. <clears throat> Here it is. Oh, uh, wait, where did it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, that's right. We went to Orphan Rock. That's right. Okay. Ow. I stepped in a trap. Okay. Where is this? All the way around here. <laughs> you cannot do a super chat when you're banned. So when you're banned, you can't super chat all the channel. Interesting. I mean, I can understand why. If someone's banned, they get pissy about it. Now they start, they, oh, I can't talk, but I'll super chat instead to go around the ban, right? So I can understand why that that makes sense, you know. <clears throat> now, how am I supposed to get up here? I can hear a blacksmith, but they won't let me go up. Come on, I'm right here, man. Even says I'm there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> A little shortcut. 
Andrew says, when I do the Dawn Guard DLC, I should side with the vampires. I sided with the Dawn Guard in the last playthrough. Did I? Okay. Do it differently. That just looks absolutely delicious. Right? <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? Skeever on a pole. The Empire would have us become slaves to the Thalmor. We are not slaves. We are men. Free men who will slay anyone who begs to differ. Nice epic. Oh, let's see. Uh, Good Life says he just sent me an email. Let's see. Didn't get that. Let's check. Uh, junk. Uh... Where did you send it? Did you send it to darksideville.hotmail.com? Because I don't have it. I don't have it in my uh, <clears throat> junk mail. And I don't have it in my inbox. <clears throat> so I'm not sure where you sent it, but I don't seem to have it. Okay. What's the game for tonight? Zelda Link to the Past. Which I'm excited for. The Emperor would turn Skyrim into a puppet of the Dominion. I, for one, would not care to dance for the amusement of those foul elves. All right, reporting in. You're going to Fort Newgrad. They have some of our boys locked up there. But with a little luck, we can turn that to our advantage. I've sent some men to scout out the area. Meet them. See if you can't find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They'll never suspect an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. You got the grit to get this done? Oh, uh, let's see. Nothing I can't handle. I knew I could count on you. Usagi Jojo, is someone impersonating you again? Yup. <laughs> Usagi Jojo, someone's impersonating you again. This is another account made May 29th. I'm pretty sure your account is a lot is has been existing longer than May 29th, right? <clears throat> or not? I don't know. Maybe this isn't the real Usagi Jojo. Someone was impersonating Usagi the other day. Yeah, I think it's a fake. I think that was a fake all along. I think this is a fake because he goes, oh, I sent you a tip, and I look, there's no tip, and I click on his channel, it says he just made the channel. So, obviously it sounds like a fake, it sounds like someone's trying to get attention. There's no tip. <laughs> there is no tip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a troll. I'm just going to ban him. It's not, it's not the real guy. <laughs> the real guy's been around for much longer than May 29th. <laughs> so, he's gone. <clears throat> okay. What a dunce. Alright. Where's the mission? Here we go. Meet the men near Fort Nurgrad. Nurgrad. Yeah, you've been chatting with a fake for two hours. Probably also why they're posting up weird song lyrics. Why can't I find the waypoint? <laughs> I don't see it. Why the hell don't I see it? Okay. Here it is. Your Greywater Grotto. Astronaut has done a $2 super chat and says, Thoughts on the new Diablo? It's only $100,000 to max your character. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that one for a while. Only a hundred thousand, huh? 
Or you can max out your character by playing the game for 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. Is playing the original Legend of Zelda a possibility one day? Yes, I've never played it. I never played the original game. Press X on the quest menu to find the marker on the map. I keep... You're absolutely right. I forget about that every time. Show on map. I forget about that every time I play. Oh shit, it's up there. No, here it is. Okay. Oh, they're creeping. Look. Ah, let's do this already. I'm itching well, to hell kill well. something. Look who it is. How have you been? Shitty. What's the plan? Straight to business with you, huh? Well, it just so happens I have the perfect mission for you. We found a cave under the lake. With luck, it'll lead into the prison. I need you to sneak in there and free our men. Killing Hold anyone up. inside as you go. Once you've rescued the prisoners, head out to the courtyard. We'll stand guard out here and rush in as soon as we hear fighting. Of course. Do, me do Should everything. Fun. Got it. Me do all the work. You stand here like a jackass. I'm on it. Talos preserve. Sneak into the fort. Will there be any particular way I can sneak in? I'm trying to find... Aha! This is probably how they want you to do it. Jason, you, 72, just did a super chat. Says, I wish Konami did the same to Silent Hill as Capcom does to Resident Evil. It sure would be nice, huh? It sure would be nice if they would do remakes. I agree with you. The Silent Hill franchise, I feel, deserves it. Thank you for the super chat. Jason, you, 92. Or nice, it rhymes nicely. Did I save? Oh well. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a stupid thing. <clears throat> okay. So we kill all the Imperials in here, I guess. Appears to be the mission. Slaughter them all. And then free these guys. <gasps> uh, uh, uh. Oh, excuse me. to go back up, oh, maybe defend the prisoners as they try to escape. Scared me for a second. Let's find out. <clears throat> uh, am 
What happened? Weird. Take over the fort. Fight. I did. Or die well. Keep your eyes open. Next Imperial I see is dead. I don't get it. Don't tell me it glitched. I took over the fort, man. I think the mission is glitched, which is gonna screw me over completely because then I can't do the Stormcloak mission. Seriously? Another stupid glitch? Come on! Oh, there's more assholes in here to kill. Kill him in his sleep! Burn him to death in his sleep! Killing them all before they're ready. They're not combat ready. Like this guy. The fort commander is dead. He got fucked up. A single piece of gold on this guy. Tower unlocked that for me. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Some imperial armor here. Minor healing potion. Okay. Great work. Get back and report our success. I'll stay here and clean up the mess. Oh shit! Glad you were here. You wouldn't have done it without me. I hit the trigger by accident. At least you didn't get pissed off. Keep your eyes open. I wonder how long this quest line is, like how much you have to do. Interesting. I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces here. Feral Shrouds is the actor who voiced Pooh Bear, Jim Cummings, Fight. also voices Festus Rex well. and the creepy old dude in the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> okay then. Some interesting trivia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. All the way back. What? This is assist the people of Falkry. Two of three. I didn't do that. This offense is a good what the? Offense. What right? the? Uh. <laughs> huh. Confused. What just happened? I don't know. Boom! As I was going through the door, he came through the door.
I'm proud we liberated Falkreath from the Empire. In many ways, it's the heart and soul of Skyrim, not to mention its rather strategic position. Some brothers have taken to calling you Bonebreaker. Bonebreaker? Evidence of your ferocity and determination. A fitting name. So, we shall all call you thus. The war demands so much from us. And we give all we have to it and to the people. But I've kept a little something to offer you in appreciation. Please take this it's on behalf be junk, of all it? the brothers and sisters. And I need capable and loyal warriors close at hand. So I'd like to offer you a home in Wenhelm. Speak with my steward, who'll make the arrangements. Woohoo. What's our next move? Get Give me a glass sword, the piece of shit. They need every able body in their master. Liberate the reach. Go with the gods. So now, yeah, so now I'm over encumbered. I gotta drop this stupid thing. I don't want a glass sword. A piece of junk. Look. Thanks for nothing. I guess what I should do is go to, uh... Go to my vampire home and then unload the white run guard armor. And that'll lower my equipment weight. <clears throat> okay. So where is that manor? Hmm. I'm looking for it. Oh, I forgot where it is. It's in one of these mountains. Is this it? Bloodshill Cavern. There it is. Nice. Got it. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Do I own a Trail Boss $70,000 Chevy truck? I own four Trail Bosses, actually. You can see how, how jam-packed my, uh, my garage is. Who closed these doors? I didn't. The door's self-closed. All right, here's one. Oh, I forgot that I, I picked up this extra Daedric helmet. I totally forgot about that. The White Run Guard outfit. Wasn't there also a White Run shield? I thought there was. Oh, I just put it on the mannequin. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duh. And I should unload some more stuff too. For now, I'll put that on there. This Call of Nocturnal, I'm never going to use either. I just I don't, I don't know where to put it. Hmm. Put on the, the other unique armor, the, the nocturnal. There you go. What is my realistic dream car and unrealistic dream car? <clears throat> so asks Mr. Jizzle Fizz. Um. So, you may not know this about me. If you, if you know, I don't talk about cars that much or at all usually <clears throat> in any of my content. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reason being, um. I have a clinical fear of cars. So if we start talking about cars, I'm going to start wetting myself and sucking my thumb like a baby. <laughs> and bending into the fetal position. Okay, no. Um, I'm not a car guy. When I was growing up, <clears throat> I had several friends who were so heavily into cars. What they wanted to do, they wanted to travel to car conventions and shows to see cars. They had automobiles they bought. They would tune them. Meaning they would get uh, peripheral, 
What the hell? What is going on? I mean, what is happening right now? Hold up. I'll tell my story in a second once I figure this shit out. <clears throat> How do I get rid of the custom destination? How do I do this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's do Karth Washington and then head east. Okay, so anyway. Um, yes, I had uh, a bunch of friends who were car guys. They loved tuning their own cars, meaning they would buy the extended exhaust pipe. They would put in a fancy stereo. They would put a spoiler on their car, get rims, you know, all that shit. Tuning their car, spending exorbitant amounts of money in their vehicles. Why do I have two waypoints? What the frick is this? Turn off miscellaneous. There we go. So, um, yeah, they loved it. They loved that shit. Now, one time, I went to a car show with them on a whim because they said, hey, we're all going. Do you want to go? And I was like, just out of, like, curiosity's sake, I'm like, let's go. Let's go to the car show. I'll see what it's all about. It was actually at the same arena that I had seen wrestling at. Like, like I had seen a live WWE show at this arena, but now it was a car show. I was like, I wonder what the heck this is. So we go. There's a bunch of cars, a bunch of, of junk that they're selling for cars. Um t-shirts they're selling stupid models posing on the cars or with the cars it was just dumb i didn't understand what the appeal was at all i was like it's a fucking car okay i get it okay it's, a, it's like a high-end car it's a sports car a car that has lights under it a car that's tuned has special things on it. it it's a car okay it's kind of the same with this whole car culture with the whole fast and the furious movie series i saw fast and the furious one I thought it was an okay movie. I saw Fast and the Furious 2. I said, this movie is stupid. It's like, the, it's just cars driving around doing stupid shit. The plot is terrible. Um, you know, I don't want to watch these anymore. And since then, I never saw another one. There's no reason to watch Fast and Furious. Literally, it's just an excuse to have fucking cars drive around and do fancy, stupid stunts and shit that makes no sense. So, you know... In my life, while all my friends around me were car guys, I was never, I, I just never got it. I never understood car culture, okay? Um, and it's funny, because a lot of people, oh, I want to get an expensive car or whatever, right? It's like, now, wait a minute. Why? Don't you understand that cars are, like, literally the worst investment you can make? The moment you purchase a car and drive it off the lot, it loses, like, half of its value because you drove it off the fucking lot. It doesn't even make sense, okay? Cars break down. They need maintenance. They need all this shit. They're annoying. Okay? Here, when I look for a car, I'm looking for two things. Ease of use and dependability. If I can even get if I can get comfort as a third, maybe I'd look for that too. So ease of use, dependability, comfort. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what kind of brand it is. I don't care what what silly features it has, okay? That's all stupid to me, okay? Um, I've had the most low-end possible piece of shit cars possible. I've had mid-range. I've had high-end luxury cars in my life. Quite frankly, I you know what I mean? I, I, when I had the luxury car, when I was leasing a BMW for a while, it had really good brakes, and it had a built-in GPS in the dashboard. Those are the two features that I used, okay? That's it. It had a moon roof, never used it. It had, oh, press this button to talk for roadside assistance. I never used it. Oh, it's got leather seats. Who cares? It's got this, that, all this fucking shit. I never used it. And here I am, you know, paying the lease on a BMW, right? And it was so dumb. Uh, it was absolutely so dumb to do so because it was expensive as shit and I wasn't really getting any features out of it, right? The features that they had wasn't something that I would take advantage of. And it was funny, because the one thing I was, I was nervous about was, you know, oh, if, if I get rid of a BMW, I won't have the dashboard GPS anymore. Guess what? 
technology advanced, now every single fucking phone has a free GPS in it. You don't even have to pay for it anymore. It's an app. You just have the app, and all you gotta do is prop your phone up on the dashboard with a, you know one of those stands. You have built-in GPS now. You can even plug your phone or sync it to your stereo, and it gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions through the speakers of your car. So you don't need it. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> it, it, none of that makes sense to me at all. Now, some people are so in car culture, you know. I absolutely want to have a high-end car with this and that. I want it to look like this and that and this. And you know what? If that's your hobby, if that's your thing, I'm not going to sit here and shit on you and say shame on you. That's stupid or anything like that. But I've just never been that kind of person, you know. Right now, I have a mid-range Toyota. I've had it for five years. Um, I have zero complaints. It's a, it's a fine car. Looks okay. Uh, drives well. You know, no issues. It's not expensive. It's not cheap. You know, it's kind of mid-range. And likely that's what I'll have for the rest of my life, a car like that. I don't think I'll ever go above that. Um, do I care what, it, you know, who made the car? No, I really don't. What I can tell you is I was test driving cars <clears throat> in 2017. Um... And when I was test driving the vehicles, immediately I could tell you with this Toyota that I have, when I drove it, felt better than the, I had, it was a Hyundai. I went to the Hyundai dealership and test drove those cars. Those cars didn't feel very good. They felt much weaker. And the car, just the quality of the car, you're looking at it, it felt like it was cheaper materials. And it felt like it just wasn't as high end, really. Just like do everything in it, like, like there's a backup camera, okay? In my Toyota, when I used the backup camera, I can see everything behind me pretty nicely. In the Hyundai, it looked like it was like a, a one megapixel blurry camera. Like you couldn't see anything. And I'm like, why have the camera if the camera is shit? Why even have it? Just don't have it then, right? The thing is because every car has the backup camera now. So like, oh, we don't have it. People won't buy our car because we'll say we don't have it. But then you have the worst camera ever in the car. So, what, you know, so anyway. Um, basically after do, doing like three test drives, three different companies of car, the Toyota seemed the best and I got it and that's it. Like, I don't care that it's a Toyota. I don't like the brand Toyota. You know what I mean? I'm not one of these brand loyalists. Oh, I love Toyota. No, nah, nah. <laughs> So I don't actually have, um, any affinity for any car, any model, anything. What, what's hot out here right now is Tesla. There's Teslas. Everyone's driving a Tesla out here, and they think they're so cool because they can afford a Tesla and shit. Like, you're not cool because you're jumping on the same trend as five million other people who are trying to show that they're, they have money. You're not. You're actually a poser is what it is. You act like you're cool all part of this. You're a poser. <clears throat> okay. Ma ma masts. Is it masts or masts? If you could tell me how to pronounce your name, I'd appreciate it. it says... I remember years ago, we downloaded a Darth Vader mod for my sat-nav, my dad's sat-nav. He says stuff like, your journey towards the dark side is complete. Yeah, and th the thing is, you can get that now, it's free. Um, on this, on there's, app, there's GPS apps where these apps have tie-ins, and you can get, like, like for example, my wife and I have used it before. We had freaking Cookie Monster from Sesame Street. We had Dexter from the TV show Dexter. We had a uh, Batman, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's, what's, what, What's the name of the, the voice actor who does Batman in the cartoons? We had him. Also the games. We had him doing it. Uh, oh, Master Chief. When Halo Infinite came out, it was Master Chief's voice. So they do all these silly things, and they're free. They're completely free. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. Let's continue. I got a little on tangent there. Come. Sometimes I wonder if Ulfric understands what I'm dealing with out here. All right, reporting in. Get over to Markarth. Rumor has it the Jarl steward, Rayrek, is a faithful Talos worshiper, if not a true son of Skyrim. He still supports the Empire, after all. But if confronted with proof of his belief, you might be able to persuade him to aid our cause. Indirectly, of course. Wouldn't want to sully his reputation, would we? You'll need to be careful with this one. The Jarl's men won't look kindly on you rummaging through the steward's quarters. I'll get proof of Rurik's cooperation. So you. this is supposed to be a stealth mission, huh? Yeah. Compelling tribute. Find evidence.
Yep, find Sweet evidence. Video, like, see? So it's a, this one's pure stealth. I'm gonna have to tell my companion buddy here to stay by, stay back. Do not come in. Stone key. Really? Ren Jesse James says, good choice with the Toyota over the Hyundai. As a mechanic, I've seen four Hondas need full engine replacements, but Toyotas never have few issues like that. So far, we've had zero issues. The, the worst issue, I had a leak in my tire, likely because I hit something, and I got it patched up. That's it. Zero issues with this, this car so far, so good stuff. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. <laughs> Wait here. Okay, let's save. See how this goes. What is it? Dragons? Yes, it's dragons. It's always dragons these days. My brother tells me you've done us a service. I did a million uh, missions here, so maybe I can just do this. It doesn't matter if they You! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? I was looking to purchase a house. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're yeah? on the road. Yeah? Good. Forsworn have troubled the reach for too long. I intend to. I guess I'm in the wrong spot. Yeah, look. How do I get over there? Hmm. Mark is not without its problems. The Empire is here. Aha! Aha! <clears throat> not sure you belong here, citizen. A legate? Find the right way in. I advised him in the same way I advised his father. Caution, caution, caution. Oh, an adept door. Another adept door. Wait a minute, you can open the door? The force one know every stone in the reach. We have to wait them out. He opened it for me. <laughs> he actually opened the door for me. Need something? I need you to go away. He will, too. If I just wait, he'll probably go away. He actually opened the door for me. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> I didn't even do nothing. He just... Right right place, right time. Okay. He's referencing. He's referencing his a souffle recipe for dinner. <laughs> Delicious... Snowberry souffle. Mmm. With a side of skeever. Actually, we get out of my face so I could do this. He's, he's kind of annoying, actually. He won't move. Why are you walking towards me? What are you doing? What the fuck? uncle as well as his steward all right show him rerix described amulet of talos i suppose you're here to extort something from me is that it well what is it you want no tom i'm not watching hell in a cell tonight i don't i haven't watched wwe in like two and a half years i don't have any access to watch wwe pay-per-views so i will not be watching that tonight i'll be streaming zelda if you believe in talos why don't you join our cause so you're one of ulfric's spies I can't deny that I was right about a few things, but I've seen firsthand what Ulfric is capable of, given the chance. Suffice it to say, he is no friend to Markarth, and no friend of mine. My first and only loyalties are to my nephew, and to this city. Okay. What if this were made public? Perhaps we could come to some kind of an agreement. Huh. 
And what if I told you about a large shipment of silver and weapons? All right, it's a deal. They're taking huh. it by wagon to Solitude. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment's quite heavy and guarded by many men. Many, many now, men. let's pretend we never had this discussion. Okay. I have letters to read. Good stuff. Now, well, this guy's completely unique. Voice is assistant. Undulamar. Look at his air armor. Undulamar. All right, my, my uh, goblin friend Go should be rousing at the door, right? Right out here? I think so. Here we go. Uh, follow me. Here we go. To. Following me now? Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta go back, right? I gotta, do I have to select the mission again? Report this to Galmar Stonefist. Where is this? Where is this? Way down. No. Where did he. How am I keep losing him on the map? Like, <laughs> I keep losing the waypoint. Where is it? Okay, it's right there. There it is. Okay. Confusing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Vera says if this is too personal, you don't have to answer. If you go back in time, would you have not made the truth to Scott passing away because of how people responded to it? No, fuck that. I'd rather have more people on this planet know about an awesome person by representing them in a nice way and telling you my my story about them <clears throat> than not getting flack for it. Fuck the flack. It's it's called the greater good, man. Um, the good life is press the gear icon. Go to the last option. There's a per vid status for super things. For where? The gear icon. Go to the last option. You're talking about on YouTube? There's a gear icon? You mean settings? And go to the last option. No, the last option is agreements. And that's partner program. So, no, that's not it. Wrong. Wrong! Uh... Nope. No, that doesn't exist, man. You click on the gear, it's a bunch of other stuff. There's nothing there. Wrong! <laughs> okay. Is he trolling? People feel like, maybe this guy's just been trolling you all day. I mean, you may be right. I don't know. You may be right. You never know, man. Countless dead haunt countless sleepless nights. When Skyrim becomes whole again, perhaps so will I. Any chance of seeing Fallout 3 this summer? Unlikely, Zebra. Unlikely, we're, we're still doing Skyrim. We're going to finish this probably over the this month. And after that, I need a, a break from this kind of game. <clears throat> so, I don't think so. I don't think we're doing it right away. Oh, let's see here. Uh, here we go, the shipment. Good job. I knew you would come back with something for me. It just so happens I've got some scouts along the road. Meet up with them, and together see if you can't overpower the caravan. Uh-huh. Meet the men. Right there. All right. You can turn off super things, but but only from my knowledge, bit from the entire channel. Like I could either have them all on or all off. 
when I upload a video, there's no option about it. When I look at the individual stuff about each video, there's nothing about it. It seems like it's an all-on or all-off deal on YouTube. <clears throat> Someone said the workaround is to turn comments off. I don't want to turn comments off. I just did an eight-hour special. <laughs> that was very meaningful to me. Uh, I'm not turning comments off. Look at these idiots. Hey there. I was wondering if I'd run into you out here. The Reach is a beautiful but dangerous place, eh? One false step and you'll fall to your death. That is, if those Forsworn don't get you first. Have you seen those Briarheart men? That's some evil magic right there. What brings you? You have the look of purpose in your eyes. There's an enemy wagon loaded with coin and weapons we need to capture it. Really? <clears throat> it just so happens we've been tracking a wagon. For about a day now. What a coincidence. So that's what's <clears throat> in here. Coins and weapons. How do you know that? I blackmailed Ririk for the information. That was crafty. <laughs> I'm sure having a steward in the pocket will come in handy. Lucky for us that the wagon recently had a little accident. They're stranded now, just up the road. We're outnumbered. But I have a plan. You got here just in time. Mm hmm What's the plan? First, we're going to take out their sentry. Then we'll situate ourselves overlooking the camp. Next, you'll infiltrate their position and get their attention, while we hit them with a barrage of arrows. With a bit of luck, we'll catch them completely off guard and even the odds a little. I have a better plan. You wait here. I'll take care of it. All right. Yeah. Assist. But we'll come running if it sounds like things have gotten out of hand. By the nine, I hate I'll just do it myself. Slaughter them all. What else is new? Imperial business. Be on your way. What's up, bitches? Damn, that was easy. Just completely wiped them out. <laughs> easy peasy. Very good. Now, no one's talking at all. Chat is completely dead. Everyone has fallen completely asleep. We make quite a team, eh? I'll stay here and guard the shipment. You get back to camp with news. Have them send some men with a new wagon. This one isn't going anywhere. All right. Wow, we really did much, much there. We just slaughtered them all, and they just stood around like assholes. That's it. This seems like a long plot line, right? So like you gotta do a lot to finish this up. James is making chicken quesadillas. Yummy. Homemade chicken quesadillas are quite good. Depending on the ingredients you use. Use some pe nice peppers, onions, you toss it in there. Put it with the cheese. Dip it in delicious salsa or pico de gallo or guacamole. No, not Guacamole's guacamole. Well done. Oh, I got paid. I'll send men with a wagon to collect our gold. prize. We'll put the weapons to use here, mm -hmm. and I'll send the coin back to Vindhelm. All right. No, I didn't catch COVID. No, I I was lucky. All of us here were very lucky. You know, I mean, we got vaccinated and all that, but no, we were lucky to not ever catch it. You're going to Fort Sungard. Meet the brothers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the Imperials. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. What do you say? Can you do this? Sure. I see. Oh, wait. We'll I didn't say... Quit. I didn't say I wanted to look at it. Think the... it over. What do you say? Here we go. Yes. Good. You've got real fire in you. Thing. I like that. Tell oh, that sounds time. good. James says he has a homemade hot tomato sauce he makes for them and Mexican pizzas. Ooh, spicy tomato. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. 
making me hungry. Today, since someone's now in Dolly is going to ask, today we're having homemade meatloaf. It's actually turkey meatloaf, not beef meatloaf. Um, with roasted golden Yukon potatoes and um, uh, oh, green beans. Green beans on the side. It's going to be delicious. A nice American meal. All right. 